Good evening everyone. I am Mr. Ace. Thank you for joining me for this video. How many of you have seen this type of a problem where you have a certain weight suspended by means of two wires but everything here is a static equilibrium meaning there is no movement. Everything is just held in position. You have this specific point X, specific point Y and you have cables running down and holding a certain weight. We have a weight here 2000. It could be grams or whatever. Pounds, kilograms. And yeah, we have this angle here, 50 degrees, this angle 30 degrees. And we have to find the tension in cable 1 and tension in cable 2, which is what you see over here. Many students would confuse this for a physics problem and it indeed is a physics problem. But it also is very much trigonometry and you don't need physics background to do something like this. You have to look at everything over here with regards to the components of each of these as you see them. Think about something like this. You have an X and a Y axis or in a certain angle. There's a certain value here A and there's a certain dimension X and there's a certain dimension Y and you have created this right triangle. If you wanted to find this component over here, you could always do that by means of cosine theta and you do adjacent or hypotenuse X or A. If you wanted to find that, you would do sine theta is equal to Y or A. Here X would be equal to A cosine theta and here Y is equal to A sine theta. Thinking about something like this, when you're looking at horizontal components, you're always thinking about cosine. When you think about vertical components, you're thinking about sine and you want to keep that in mind as you do something over here. If supposedly you have something in this direction, then you're opposing it with something on the other direction, then those type of items will oppose one another. Think about it. If you have something coming in this direction and you have this A, you have this angle over here, then you're looking at X and then this Y. In this instance, these X components are opposing each other. Remember over here I said X was equal to here A cosine theta. We'll call this X1. Here's my X2. Here Y1 was equal to A sine theta. Here we have X2 and Y2. Here you have X2 is equal to A cosine theta. Here Y2 is equal to A sine theta. But in this regard, look at these X2 and X1. They're not in the same direction. They're opposing directions. X1 is in this direction. X2 is in this direction. But the Y are in the same direction. Y is both in the same direction. They're collinear. When you will set up something like this, you'll notice that the X dimension will be opposite to each other. But you will notice that the Y dimension will be in the same direction. But it will be opposed by the weight. All of this here, I'm showing you how you handle these type of questions without knowing the physics behind it. You're thinking about everything here with regards to horizontal and vertical components of these angles as you see them and the tension that's created by those angles. Keep in mind here the horizontal components oppose each other but the vertical components are in the same direction but the vertical component is opposed by this weight. With all of that as a background let's create up the equation that will help us determine the tension and I promise you it's not hard. With regards to the T1, the cable tension here, you're looking here at x cosine 50. This is my horizontal component. With regards to the horizontal component over here, I'm seeing y cosine 30. With regards to the vertical component over here, I'm seeing an x sine 50. With regards to this vertical component here, I'm seeing y sine 30. Remember always, the sine is with regards to vertical components, cosine is with regards to horizontal components. Now let's create the equation. I told you the horizontal components oppose each other. So you'll have x cosine 50 minus y cosine 30 will equal to zero because the sum of everything here should always be equal to zero because everything over here is static, there's no movement. That's your one equation coming out with the horizontal components. With the vertical components you have, as I told you, they're in the same direction. Things in the same direction, they add. Things in the opposite direction, they subtract from one another. Here you'll have x sine 50 plus y sine 30, but this is opposed. The vertical forces or the directions are opposed by this weight. Minus 2000 is equal to zero. And now we have our equations. We can use substitution to solve it out. Look at this first equation right over here. And what I'm gonna do is create space over here. I'm gonna start solving it out. X cosine 50 is equal to Y cosine 30. X is equal to Y cosine 30 divided by cosine 50 and you have to just solve it out and you'll get the value for x with regards to y. 
you'll have 30 cosine divided by 50 cosine and you have 1.3473 x is equal to 1.3473 y wherever I have x I can put this in this equation I can do exactly that and I'll do it x is equal to 1.3473 y sine 50 plus y sine 30 is equal to take the 2000 on the other side and now all you have to do is solve for y and we will do it this right here will be all calculator strokes we have 50 sine and we'll multiply this by 1.3473 and I'm going to add this to this sine 30 plus 30 sine I get 1.532 y is equal to 2000 I'll save this value I'll do 2000 divided by that value and I get 1305 y is equal to 1305 therefore x is equal to I'll take this value and I'll plug it right over here 1305 and I'll multiply by 1.3473 and I'll get 1758.7 which I'll round up to 1759 1759 now I've determined this I'm getting 1759 here with regards to x. 1759. It could be newtons or it could be whatever units of tension. We don't have to worry too much about tension. Y is equal to 1305. And we'll call it newtons. The tension over here is equal to 1759, which is your T1 value. The tension over here is equal to 1305, which is your T2 value. This tension in this cable is more than that because this is a larger angle and it is more in line with the weight of gravity pulling this downwards. This is less in line with gravity because of the smaller angle, hence the tension in here is smaller. The tension here is larger simply because this angle is closer to 90 degrees, which is in the direction of gravity. And that's exactly how you would solve these type of questions. Remember, those things which are in the opposite direction, they'll minus. Those are your horizontal components. The vertical components, are always in the same direction but they're opposed by the weight so the vertical components add but they were opposed by the weight and from here you can make your equations as you saw them and solve for your two variables and those will give you the values that you need and that's it for this video thank you have a good day